Hello and welcome to Clinical Exam Series with Dr. Piro. Today we are going to be discussing clacking of headaches, both in your exams and the way when you interact with um, patients on the ward. Headache is the most common symptom worldwide and pain is the most common symptom generally. When clacking for pain, we use we invite Socrates to help us, not the Greek philosopher this time, but the acronym which stands for Sight, Onset, Character, Radiation, Association, the Timing of the Pain, exacerbating, exacerbating Factors or Relieving Factors as well as the Severity of that Pain. So we use Socrates when we clap for pain. I should also tell you that when you interact with your patient, you should use lay terms so that they can be able to understand you since patients don't read our textbooks. Also, it's important for me to let you know that in your exams, for because of the time constraint, it is better to use close-ended questions such as, do you have headache, rather than tell me about your headache. Now, when we clap for headache, these are the questions we should ask. The sex becomes important since migraines are more common in women than in men. Next is, we use Socrates. Now, sight. Where is the pain? It's in the head. Which part of the head is it unilateral as seen for example in migraine is it generalized as in tension headache is it in the occipital region as in also tension headache is it um, retroorbital as can be seen for example in in cluster headache or even glaucoma now for the onset was it sudden in onset was it a sudden onset of severe headache described by the patient as the worst headache of his, his or her life what we call a thunderclap headache. Causes of thunderclap headache include subarachnoid hemorrhage, preeclampsia, cluster headaches, meningitis, as well as trauma with brain contusion. Now, after the onset, is the character of the headache. Is it dull, like with a band like sensation around the head, as seen in tension headache? Is it sharp and throbbing? as seen in migraine headache so the character of the pain will be important at that point now radiation the pain is in the head so we will not discuss radiation to other parts of the body in this um, situation however the associations are very important if there's associated neck stiffness fever and photophobia that points classically towards meningitis if there's associated feeling of photophobia Phonophobia, vomiting, nausea, and a feeling of aura with visual disturbances. It points more towards migraine headaches. Now, if there are focal neurological deficits, slurring of speech, and weakness of one part of the body, or transient visual loss, it can also point towards strokes. Now, if there is natural discharge with natural stuffiness, with nasal stuffiness, it points towards more a sinusitis, more as an impossible etiology. Now, if there is associated anemia, asthenia, anorexia, it points with, for example, focal neurological deficit or weakness of one part of the body, which is insidious in onset. It points towards more of a cancerous cause, a tumor in the brain, causing that headache. And this headache will be described as always present, in all, uh, always present. Now, another cause of um, another association could be ipsilateral redness of the eye with searing. There's just reddening of, reddening of the eye with visual blurring. It points. It can point um, to a, an ophthalmological cause, for example, glaucoma. Now, enough with the association. Let's move on to the timing of this of the pain. If the pain is described as always present, it can be mostly seen in um, an intract cranial space occupying vision, which can be from a tumor from the cancer. Now, if the pain is described as coming in paroxysms, paroxysms like um, 3 to 72 hours, which is classical of, of, of migraine headaches, 3 to 72 hours of severe throbbing headache with a period of rest, coming maybe three or four times in a month, it's more classic and points towards more of migraine headaches. That's for the timing of pain. Exacerbating and relieving factors. If the um, if the migraine headaches, if the headaches rather was triggered by, for example, chocolate or wine or food, 
or menstruation it points more towards migraine headache and lastly the severity of that um, headache we grade from 0 to 10 with 0 being absolutely no pain at all no headache and pain being the worst headache of the patient's life we, we ask the patient to grade the um, severity of that headache and how it has affected his, um, his or her life for example is he sleeping is he still able to go to work and stuff like that that would point you that will give you an idea of the severity of the headache finally you can ask for care so far what drugs have been taken and what relief have been gotten from those kind of medications so this is how we clock um, headache using Socrates you can also see that by clocking the headache using Socrates it can easily fit towards you can feel fit into the five C's of complaints, cause, cause, complications, and care so far. So this is how we clock um, headache in the exam. There are other videos that discuss clocking of other other common symptoms, examinations, as well as integrating your clinical knowledge with your academic um, knowledge, so that you can actually make a sound diagnosis and pass your exam very well. Thank you for watching.